Let's go for a vintage train ride to the Peak District to go and hike to an iconic stately home. Let's visit a first class national park. After a pleasant train journey from the southeast to the East Midlands, we arrive at Derby to take the branch line train into the Derbyshire Dales. The railway passes the hills, valleys and industrial revolution mills of the Dales until the trains terminate at Matlock. The line used to continue to Buxton and then to Manchester, but ever since the beach and rail closures of the 1960s, the line stops here. Or does it? Following the railway's closure, volunteers set up a heritage railway called Peak Rail, running steam heritage services on part of the original line between Matlock and Rosely South. There's then a very pleasant walk along the Derwent Valley Heritage Way from there to the stately home of Chatsworth House, so what better excuse for a day out? We take this vintage train service with its Harry Potter style compartment carriages along the Derwent Valley with historic trains and restored stations along the way. The volunteers have restored the intermediate station at Darley Dale to what it would have been like in the 1930s, with milk churns and historically relevant signs and adverts. The train then continues trundling along until all too soon it arrives at the terminus at Rosely South. Peak Rail have ambitions to eventually extend their line to Bakewell, but for now this is where the line ends, with a volunteer railwayman standing ready to hand the line token back to the fireman of the steam engine for the next trip back up to Matlock. I affixed the Peak District National Park first class stamp to a postcard of the vintage train that we took, and then we start our 7km hike to Chasworth House. We follow the River Derwent and post the postcard at a village along the way, before passing through fields of cattle and then fields of sheep once we enter the Chatsworth estate. Soon, Chatsworth House and its gardens and gravity fountain come into view across the river. It's an iconic stately home, often voted Britain's favourite. It was completed in 1708 for the Dukes of Devonshire from the Cavendish family who still live in it today. It's often used as a filming site as an enormous stately home and so Pride and Prejudice was filmed here, apt as the house was itself mentioned in the story in the original novel. After a rest and a celebratory ice cream, we continue up the ridge to the Chatsworth Estates hunting tower with its grand view over the peaks and the dales. Our next destination is the Robin Hood Inn near Baslow, so we continue along Dob Edge with its fields and ferns surrounded by dry stone walls. This ridge path from Chatsworth's hunting tower to the Robin Hood Inn even passes over quite a few of these walls with steps built into them with an excellent view over the valley below. Four kilometres from Chatsworth House and about an hour later we reach the main road on which lies a pub in the middle of nowhere. After a well-earned pint we return by bus to Chesterfield having had an excellent day out. I hope you enjoyed this visit to the Peaks and the Dales. Join me next time for another First Class National Park, and thank you for watching.